is Dakota and welcome to this Yoga Sun Salutations A course. This course is great for starting your day or your week off to a great start. Now what you'll need for this course is either a yoga mat or a soft grounded surface and optionally yoga blocks. I love yoga blocks. They can be used to open the chest as well as aid in flexibility for some of those poses we will be doing throughout the course that may be a little challenging. Now, a question I often hear is, what are sun salutations? And to clear that up, sun salutations, or Sarah Namaskara in Sanskrit, is a series of poses performed in a sequence to create a flow of movement. Now, they're traditionally used at the beginning of many classes to build up heat and flexibility in the body. This Sun Salutations A routine is great to get the body moving in all directions and help loosen and strengthen the body and mind. This routine is an amazing way to start your day or workout. So that being said, let's hop on the mat and get started. So before we get into the actual routine, I think it's really important that we go over how to breathe properly. Pranayama, breath control, is what we typically use in our everyday postures for yoga. Ujjayi breath is performed by inhaling and exhaling through the nostrils with the mouth softly closed. This method of breathing is what allows you to stay focused when your mind starts to race or postures become too challenging. I think a large part of stress relief comes from properly knowing how to breathe. Properly breathing is what helps us to clear the chaos in our mind and return to a clear, centered state of mind. Let's practice together. Begin by finding a quiet and cozy spot to tune out the day. An option is to sit cross-legged or in a comfortable chair, but making sure the spine is nice and tall. Palms face up to invite good thoughts in, and then gently closing the eyes. Inhaling for a count of four. Pausing at the top. And gently exhaling for a count of four. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Deep in the throat, think of HA like you're fogging up a window. <sighs> Inhaling the cold air in. Exhaling. Again, inhaling. Exhaling. Once more on your own. Thinking about writing a secret message in the foggy window. One more time. Relaxing the mind, gently opening the eyes. Repeating this for one to five minutes each day is all it takes to make a huge difference in your everyday routine. I hope you enjoyed this breathing technique. Let's begin in mountain pose. So begin mountain pose, it's at the top of our mat or the back of our mat and we'll make sure our toes are nice and grounded. And what I mean by that is from your pinky toe all the way to your big toe, we'll make sure that every single one is nice and spread out and feels nice and grounded in our mat. And we can work on flexibility by going onto our tippy toes and our heels and then adjusting so we feel nice and grounded. All right, and mountain pose, we're going to face the palms towards the front of the room and adjusting our gaze to the front of the room as well. Shoulders down and back, tailbone towards the heels, and pull in the ribs as if you have a corset on. All right, and taking a few breaths here. Finding your ujjayi breath. Maybe even setting your intention for this practice today. 
I know a lot of times we get ahead of ourselves, thinking about the day to come, maybe tomorrow, but concentrating on how you feel internally today, right now, on your mat. Good, and on your next inhale, we're going to swoop the arms up, palms meet overhead, gaze can go gently to your palms, relaxing at your shoulders, quads lift, gentle bend in the knees, and exhale, we're gonna drop down, we're gonna hinge at the hips, go into a forward fold. Now, if you're not that flexible, it's no problem. We're all flexible at different times, but maybe bringing two blocks or a block and resting your hands upon it. We're gonna inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to the shins, extending your head and your chest out and up. Gaze can go to the top of your mat. Exhale, arms go down to the floor. We're gonna walk our hands all the way up to the top of our mat into everyone's favorite, plank. <laughs> so your tailbone can go down and back to meet your heels. Arms are going to be parallel. And then we're going to lower into a push-up. Your elbows are going to hug into your ribs, lowering all the way down. Untuck the toes and keep the chest up into an upward facing dog. Very modified. Roll the shoulders back, pressing all 10 toes into the mat. Gently lower down, we're gonna exhale. We're going to roll over the toes, lifting up and sending your hips back into a downward facing dog. We're gonna take five easy breaths here. Maybe walking out your dog. Pressing through your hands, drawing your ribs in towards your spine, concentrating on lengthening your back, sending the tailbone up. Great. Now we're going to inhale, taking our gaze to the top of our mat, gently bending your knees, lengthening your spine, and gently stepping or hopping to the top of your mat. We're gonna inhale, extending our gaze and our chest up, and then exhaling it all back in. Gentle bend in the knees. On our next inhale, reach in the arms up overhead, and exhaling them down into meet your chest. Now that was a very modified sun salutation A, as we just did. Now we'll kind of speed things up and make it flow a lot better. All right, so as we go to the back of our mat, let's go ahead and extend our toes, grounding our body, waking our body up, maybe shaking it out a little bit. All right, and on our next inhale, we'll reach the arms up overhead, extending our gaze, exhaling, hinging at the hips all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, arms come to shins. Exhale, let's walk into that beautiful plank. Tailbone down and back to meet the heels. Lowering down to that push-up, we're gonna hug our elbows in, swooping up into an upward facing dog. Again, we can modify, or if you want to go ahead and do the full upward dog, we're gonna go ahead and get those shins and quads off that mat and exhale, untuck the toes, take it back into downward facing dog. Taking a few breaths here. <sighs> Waking up the body. <sighs> Inhale, gaze to the top of the mat. Gently bend in the knees, hop or step, exhale to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold it all in. Inhale, arms reach up. 
exhale. Very good, now we're gonna pick it up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and do that sequence one more time. All right, so now we're gonna get into the mountain pose. Palms facing forward, gaze forward. Take a nice inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rising your hands up overhead, palms touch. Exhale, hinging at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, arms come to shins. Exhale, our favorite, let's go into a plank. Slowly lower down into a push-up, hugging the arms in and upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over our toes into a downward facing dog. Gently walking it out. Nice big inhale, gaze the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop to top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down, fold it all in. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring it in. Let's go ahead and take it from the top. Let's do our last sun salutation A all by ourselves. I want you guys to cue your own breath. Feel when you need to inhale and exhale. 